My name is Nathan Stevens. I'm a lecturer here in the uh, College of Journalism, and I teach Intro to Studio, a variety of video game courses, including streaming. The Intro to Studio course is where the kids actually get to be on the other side of the camera. They get to learn how to do technical directing, directing, camera work, audio, and just kind of get a firm understanding of what the parts of a whole production team are and how important each part is. So the benefit of teaching somebody who is just getting into college is that their minds are fresh. <laughs> they haven't gotten that like senioritis where they're just like, you know, another semester. And, uh, and I get them young, get them interested, and then they begin to figure out what they want to do for a career. So that's just like, a, like here's a buffet of things you can do. If you're interested in production, this is really how production goes and they can figure out what they're most interested in. Then they can start concentrating on that and, you know, pick up other things from other classes along the way, kind of sharpen how they deliver stuff. So the first night of the streaming class, like we, the very first lesson, uh, they, they thought we were gonna go into actual streaming that night. I'm like, no, no, no. We're actually gonna look at the parts of a computer. So you fully understand what they do. And by knowing what those parts do, you understand a lot of things. Like, what can it connect to? What can it handle? What can I do with this? Can I have like four cameras running into this thing? Can I have, you know, if I was doing a sports show, what, what parts can I include in that show? You know, understanding that tech and like video games are just kind of a method of getting people to get comfortable with it. So it's mainly just teaching tools. Uh, that is a tech, you know, getting, a firm understanding what a CPU does, why a GPU is important. Part of my other kind of creation here in the school is having a video game track. And that comes in pieces and parts. So on the side, I'm actually a managing editor for a website that houses about 15 writers. And we review video games, we cover the video game industry been around to E3s and TGSs and CESs all the time reporting on them. And uh, I thought it would be neat to introduce kind of a video game component into journalism. So that includes researching the industry, which is my video game course coming up in the fall, 479, which I know is a generic title, but um, but it looks at, delves deep into the industry and its problems, and also its you know its pros. There's some good things about it. Um, there's a video game course that's going to be about video game reviewing, which is just concentrating on how to properly review a game, how to get into that material, and because a lot of kids who are interested in video games don't know how to start and how to you know properly write. So there's a there's a good structure that I can put down and actually get their hands on games to review. It's bigger than the movie industry. It makes more money than movies do. That's the first step, just kind of give them a scope of this is big and it's been around forever. Um, the second step would be kind of explaining to them the serious issues that not only, a, a, you know, pertain to the industry, but also our own lives. So things, again, like like I mentioned, DEI stuff, is is something we all have to be aware of and we have to, we need to be better at. And then, you know, going into, this is more than just games. There's other things they can cover. Well, one of the things that attracted me to this institution specifically was talking with the Dean and, and Lucy, was basically open-minded to any kind of a change, which is not common in a lot of journalism schools or journalism in general. And that's the beauty of, of technology and the gaming industry is that it's always gonna bring you something new somewhere down the road. I mean, I started off with Atari in 1980 and I couldn't even imagine that the, that the industry would have gotten as far and what it can do and what you can do as a, as a player and how you can stretch out and, I mean, like, if you would have told me 30 years ago that I'd be playing online in front of people and and let people watch me, I would have been like, that's stupid. <laughs> like, yeah, right, uh, that's, I, that'll, my 286 will never do that. Um, but uh, but it, it's, it's a wondrous thing because you know whatever's coming up in the future is gonna change and something new is gonna be introduced. So it's always exciting and, and it's always changing. It never stands still. So I'm, it's something to look forward to. It's something beautiful. <laughs>